So now let's see how we can work around with Briz as loop feature inside of Blender. So in order to use the feature, I'm going to go around over here and press Shift A on my keyboard. And in mesh, you can see circle is an option. So once I go around into circle, you get the circle right here. So I can go around and then resize this out according to how I like it. So I'm going to resize this. And if I were to press Shift D, it duplicates uh, the object out. And then I can press Z and then I can move this out precisely in Z axis. And I can resize this out over here from the other side as well. And then I can press Shift D again to duplicate it, press Z, and then I can go around, bring this upwards. I can go around, resize this out over here as well, press Shift D right here and press Z and drag this out. And if I were to go around, pull this out, this is what I have. So this is what I have, as you can see. So now if you want to use the Briz as look feature for this, I can go around and click this right here, click this, click this, and click this and select everything in order. So now before I can use the Briz as loop feature, I can join these out. So to join them out, I'm going to go around into object and I'm going to click on join. And now all of it turns into the same object. So in order to Briz the as loops now, I can press tab on my keyboard and then this is what appears. So now if I were to go around and press control E on my keyboard, we can see Briz as loops is an option. Once I click on this, all of it has been brizzed out and now you can see that you have an object. So if I were to go around right here, you can see that now it is an object and you can modify the object as per your liking, just like as you would modify any other objects as you can see. And that is how you can use the Briz as loop feature to join out the as loops and turn it into a shape inside of Blender. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.